Welcome dudes to Dets and any other agendas I forgot to mention. Mesero here. I was going to make regular dev diaries on this mod, but I have instead worked on it for an entire week, so <laughs> I'll just show you what I've done in the last week. In the background you can hear a music mod I've made. I will probably release this separately from the main mod, just due to the fact that I don't want the mod to be bogged down in size by music, and also uh, the music mod is more likely to get taken down than my main mod. Each of the stones can now be obtained in the respective systems. The power stone can be obtained in the Morag planet in the system of M31V. The time stone can be located on Sol 3 in the Sol system. Sol 3 is also a relic world. The reality stone can be obtained in the Malekith system on this planet here, which I will not try to pronounce. The soul stone can be obtained on Vormir in the Helgenthar system. The mind stone can be obtained in the Arch system on the planet Achillean. And the space stone can be obtained in Pamar on Hala which is also a relic world. Obtaining each of the stones has dig site events and regular events to go with it. Three of the stones give you unique leaders to go with it, and the space stone also gives you the jump drive technology early, although it isn't actually the jump drive, it's a separate technology. The technology is called Infinity Drive, and it is essentially just a cheaper jump drive. There is also a new relic added called Mjolnir, which once activated, will give you one of those leaders I just spoke about, with a unique trait called Wilder of Mjolnir. Also, as I was doing this, the event fired for the Infinity Gauntlet. So once you have all six stones, you will get an event to give you the Infinity Gauntlet. The Gauntlet costs 20,000 alloys, and although you actually effectively have it, you have to build it, quote-unquote, first. Although it's difficult to demo in this video, once you begin construction on the Gauntlet, the rest of the AIs on the map will form a federation against you to destroy the Gauntlet. If they can take away your capital, whilst you ha whilst this war is going on, the Gauntlet is destroyed and everything is over. I currently haven't implemented what the outcome of the gauntlet yet due to the fact that it is very difficult to get that far <laughs> but once i have that will be the mod basically complete and i'll upload it there isn't much more i can show you without spoilers i will do a video in future spoiling basically all the dig sites if you really care obviously you've seen the stones and you've watched the films so i don't know how much you can spoil from it that's basically it for now um once the infinity war quote unquote is done uh, the mod will be complete and i'll upload it to the workshop i do need to do a couple of things for example if i activate the infinity gauntlet You can hear it does the same effect as me on there. That's because there's a lot of things that I haven't been finishing the mod. There's a lot of sounds, a lot of uh, event pictures that haven't been made. So I have to go back through and do all of that. But in theory, once the Infinity War is in, it's basically everything for the mod done. I received a lot of questions from the last video. I will go over them, a few of them quickly. A lot of people were asking for the stones to do this crazy stuff. And my answer to that basically is I kind of want to keep the stones feel like they're from Stellaris, if that makes sense. So I want them to be crazy compared to Stellaris relics, but I don't want them to be like, you press a, use a stone and you just create a giga structure or anything. In terms of the stones having effects together, I could implement that, but uh, that's kind of the point of the gauntlet, using all the stones together. Or no, you effect in theory could, but I kind of like think in this context for the game, having the gauntlet is what allows you to use all the stones together. Someone asked me to work with the mod developer for the other mod, which I didn't actually know existed before, um, I made the first video, which is nice. So I had a look at his mod, and I have changed some of the stuff in my mod based on his. Uh, for example, originally, if an empire was a puppet, then they had a stone. You, you could declare war on them for the stone, but I decided that that could cause issues, especially if you integrated a puppet. So now if a puppet has a stone, that stone gets sent to someone else. And it's the same if your nation gets destroyed now, the stone is sent to someone else randomly as well. And that's part of, basically, his mod has a lot of mechanics in it that um, stop problems arising and that's basically a lot of the stuff I've implemented into my mod based on his. I also modified the snap a little because his code for the snap was a lot better than mine so the snap actually is a, doesn't crash the game now every time you use it which is nice. A lot of people ask for events including certain characters. There are a few. Vision, Thor and Captain Marvel are three I've implemented currently. There's an event for Loki as well and a couple of other characters in the MCU but there's none it's kind of difficult to implement a lot of them due to the fact that some, a lot of them are earth based uh, people ask for Adam Warlock and as much as Adam Warlock is interesting he's kind of a boring character in terms of everything I know people are interested because in he's going to be in the MCU but I don't really see any need to put him in it especially as the Soul Stone is, already has quite a cool event to go with it being you know Soul for Soul and whatever there is a few things I want to make for the modern future I haven't thought it through too much because I was going to add a Fallen Empire but then I realised that Fallen Empires uh, aren't actually pretty scripted they are actually randomly generated which sucks <laughs> but you know you can't have everything you want i want to add a new precursors chain is, instead which will include the one of the stones as the reward i don't know if i might do this for all six stones as currently it's quite easy you only have to go to one system which could be randomly anywhere in the universe for example if i search for a system now for example this system here is where 
the Soul Stone is, and it's right next to a Fallen Empire, and everyone knows Fallen Empires do not, especially fanatic xenophobe Fallen Empires, do not like being settled next to, which basically means the stone is going to be impossible to get until the end game, which is, I guess, is fine, but implementing a system where the stones are system to generate might be more interesting for both the player and it'll make it more difficult to attain them because in theory you can there's another stone up here which is ai is going to get pretty much immediately that's the kind of the things i want to mitigate i want to kind of make it so the stones aren't immediate to get but i also want to make the stones obtainable which is another thing from the other guys mod the other infinity stone mods so most of his stones are locked behind fallen empires and that kind of to me that defeats the point of them because you basically can't get them into the end game and i want these stones to be something that influence the entire game the whole way through but not too much that like the entire game is like derailed by the fact one person has these stones one of the big issues as well with the mod is testing in multiplayer because i only have a shitty laptop <laughs> to test with so it's kind of difficult to do test stuff like like this scenario where i had to use my other laptop to allow the ai to move to move into my space using the space stone take my capital basically and i messed up a bit so i should have destroyed my station before they arrived i destroyed my fleets and all that but not the station it doesn't matter they will eventually beat it, it just takes longer and this is to test if my, my capital's getting occupied which is something i couldn't realistically test otherwise because so i need to be able to see this from both sides re like replicate it so i need to have the fleet there i could have got i guess i could have done it without multiplayer but this is just easier that way as i can control both at the same time also you notice it took me forever get to get the federation thing working because it just so basically before so they all join the avengers uh federation if they uh well apart from this guy which i have no idea oh no it's because i annexed him that's fine they basically join all join the avengers faction and it does it took me forever to work out how it works especially during the war as well like before you'd have like 50 war, different wars at the bottom which have basically changed on that now the player with the gauntlet declares war which i guess isn't perfect but it's also not awful <laughs> but you know you do what you do it's working around the problems you face there was a question asking, can you claim stones from other empires? And basically, you can. I forgot to show it off in the original video. But you can declare war on an empire for each individual stone. Uh, this is kind of a balanced thing. I don't want you to be able to take six stones in a war, because then you basically did nothing for it, all the effort. I feel like you can choose which stone you can take this way. And if you want to form like a coalition, you can need to uh, declare for a different stone each. And I think this is a better way of doing it than to go get declaring war, taking five stones, or only having one yourself, and winning the war, basically. I may make it... I may make it in future that you can only declare war if you have a stone as well. I think that would be an interesting way of doing it. And the war goal takes your stone instead. But we'll see. In terms of the snap, I think I'm just going to add the base ability to snap half the universe. I, I did think about adding other things. But I did think about adding a lot of stuff to this actually. And the more I think about it, I feel it takes away from the original mod. If you're collecting all six infinity stones, you want to snap the universe, let's be honest. You're not really doing it for malevolent means. And if you don't want to snap half the universe just don't use the gauntlet but everyone's going to hate you for having it anyway it doesn't seem realistic to me that someone's going to play the mod get the six stones and then not snap snap half the universe it doesn't i, I just it doesn't seem the point i know some people who'd be like oh but i i want to make sure no one else has the stones i don't want to use them myself and that's fine but even if you had all six stones someone else would even would still come for you for the stones even if you didn't try and snap out half the universe if that makes sense Anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough now. I'm just going to upload this as it is. So, uh, I can't remember what I said last time. Like and subscribe or something, and leave comments on any other questions you have, or if you disagree with anything I've said in the video. I did basically forget everything I'm implementing. I have implemented quite a lot, actually. Well, that is one last thing I will mention, is that I now understand why it takes Paradox so long to make DLCs. Also, at the same time, you can implement a lot in a short space of time, even if it is a lot of rubbish. I think the biggest time-consuming part is doing the same stuff over and over. Because for each of these war goals, I had to duplicate all of the code for them again. And then for each time an empire is destroyed and a stone gets randomly distributed, I have to duplicate all that code again to change some text. And that's quite time consuming. Same for, especially for um, adding all of the uh, dig sites, that takes forever as well just to write all the text. You have to make up some new bullshit about how the Cree somehow had the space stone or whatever. It's stuff like that that takes forever. And I guess that's why Paradox are so good at what they do, because they're so efficient at it. Whereas I'm just a guy sat in my office writing code on the keyboard and crying when it doesn't work but yeah anyway after that small tangent what i say like like and subscribe uh, leave a comment if any questions any complaints i am going to upload the stone colors as a separate mod because i could uh do it have they have different colors in the same mod but it, it means i have to do all that extra code again and so i want them to upload it just rename all the, the textures and then that should sort this out 
Uh, don't forget, I've got a link to my Discord if you have any other questions you want an immediate answer. I'll basically be on whenever you need, apart from at night, so you should be fine. Uh, I am in British time, so beware that I won't be able to contact you during that time. If you have any questions, just join the Discord. I won't recommend my Twitter. <laughs> this sucks. It's just me complaining about Britain. And um, I am going to stream this mod at some point where I just basically do a full playthrough just to test everything before I upload it. I was going to do that today, but I haven't actually finished the mod, so I thought it would be a bit shitty to start streaming it, even though I haven't finished it. But yeah, anyway, that's everything. Uh, anything you need is in the description, and if it's not, just leave a comment and I'll add it to the description.